Hello there Spybot users, and welcome back to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team Spybot at Safer Networking, and I'm here today to bring you another video in our web series of Spybot tutorials and instructional videos. Today's video will be updating Spybot using the free edition. So let's get started with today's tutorial. So welcome to today's video on updating Spybot using the free edition. In today's video I'll be showing you how to download and install the anti-spyware database signatures using the Spybot updater in the free edition of Spybot Search and Destroy. The first step of today's tutorial is to open the Spybot Start Center. To do this right click on the Spybot Start Center desktop icon then choose run as administrator. Please select yes when prompted by the user account control then wait for the Start Center to load. Once the Spybot Start Center is loaded, we can see in the top right hand corner in the status area that it says no update attempt registered, which means that the database signatures have not yet been downloaded, meaning that a system scan cannot take place until the signatures have been downloaded and installed. So we must use the Spybot updater to download and install the updates. To do this, double click on the update icon in the Spybot Start Center or right click on it and choose Run as Administrator. The updater should open in a separate window and begin with a status check. I'm going to maximize the update window to give us a better view. We can then see in the status area of the update window, beside the red bar that it says, your computer has no signatures installed yet. Status check complete. There are updates available. We can then press the update button to begin downloading the SpyBot updates. The SpyBot updates contain the anti-spyware definition files that are required by the system scan to search for malicious threats on your PC. The anti-spyware updates contain database signatures, for adware, spyware, trojans, possibly unwanted programs, and many other forms of malware. The free edition does not scan for viruses, as AV protection is only available in a licensed edition of Spybot Plus Antivirus, as well as the ability to perform updates automatically through a scheduled task. If the updater happens to freeze on a particular file and the update fails to progress, you can close the update window, then reopen it again. When you reopen the Spybot update window, it will try to continue from the previous point and will perform a quick status check. Once the updater has performed a quick status check, the update button should become activated again. We can then click on the update button again and the file should resume downloading and install successfully. As well as downloading the anti-spyware definition files, the SpyBot updater is used to download any other essential files that are required by the SpyBot installation. These include updates to certain files, such as the scanner or immunizer, or can include bug fixes and other important files. If the updater freezes again on a particular file, you can repeat this process again by closing the updater, then reopening it by double clicking on the update icon in the start center. Then click the update button again once it becomes active to resume the update. Once the update is complete, the update will perform a quick status check to see if all the files were downloaded and installed correctly. You should then see, your signatures have been updated today at 11 o'clock. Status check complete. And if we want to check to see if there are any more updates available, we can click the update button again to perform a quick status check. The update button should then become deactivated if there are no more updates available. If you want to view more details about the files that have been downloaded, you can click show details in the bottom right corner. Here you can view a list of all the files that have been downloaded and installed. The updates are broken up into four sections. These are essentials, which contain updated spybot files and bug fixes, support, which includes translation files, detections, which contain the detection rules needed by the system scan to search for and detect malware, and other, which contains the spybot help file. You can then click back to overview to return to the update window. 
If you want to view even more details about the update procedure, especially for debugging and troubleshooting purposes, you can view the update log by clicking on Show Update Log in the top left hand menu. This will open the updates.log file which contains detailed information about the update process, showing what files are required and when the file was downloaded, extracted and installed. Now that all the updates have been downloaded and installed, we can close the update window and return to the start center. Here we can now see in the top left hand corner that in the status area it says this software is up to date. You can then minimize the start center where we will see the post win 10 install.exe file on your desktop. If you are a Windows 10 user and are still using SpyBot 2.4, please run this file to upgrade to SpyBot 2.5. You can also view one of our previous videos showing you how to upgrade to SpyBot 2.5 for Windows 10 users. If you have already installed SpyBot 2.5, you can delete this file, then return to the Start Center. We are now ready to perform a system scan with SpyBot Search and Destroy. But that's all I'll be showing you in today's video, but we will look at performing a system scan in a later video. In the next video I'll show you how to update SpyBot using SpyBot plus antivirus. So that's it for today's video on updating SpyBot using the free edition. We would like to thank you for watching and we hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe or leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page in the support center on our website. I've been Rob from Team Spybot at Safer Networking. Thanks again for watching. Stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you guys soon.